Hey there, Jory here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And welcome back to another Ryanair flight, this time heading back from the Cheshire Office Songka to London Sanstead Airport. So I spent the last three days out in Poland, heading back home today, and so of course being a premiere, it means that down below, track the flight on flight radar, you can either do so via a link in the description or the pinned comment in the chat, which is over here actually, uh, as soon as the aircraft comes visible on flight radar 24. So uh, yeah, fly back home today, let's say fed three hours in Poland, work it out tomorrow. Um, apart from that, should be a pretty good flight and day. Go straight into the uh, boarding services of GSX, so request the fuel truck and the uh, passengers. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck yep, where the VSA, boarding requested. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple today, but what I'm going to do is request our flight out to, um, well, program our flight and get us back to London Sanstead Airport. Uh, flights is, well, I'm flying out tomorrow, so this is very, very late, what I should be doing. But hey ho, it's all in the uh, one the greater good, I guess. Echo of Sierra. Passengers boarding started. Sorry, Echo of Sierra, Sierra. So, jet off to Sandstead. Flight number or call sign today is Ryanair 1 Bravo November. RYR1BN. I just like, would have just flown in inbound as Ryanair FR2136. And therefore, this is the uh, return leg now, sending everyone back to London. So, update the passenger leaving the departure lounge, heading downstairs. So, I'll show you the route they take. Uh, passengers, they arrive at the terminal, departure lounge is upstairs. They will get their passport, uh, board pass scanned, passport scanned, head down by lift or stairs, go down the little corridor, and from here, just walk themselves up to the airplane. So, it's only a short little route, but I guess for this part of Poland, pretty standard stuff. No jeopardy, of course, jeopardy is in position. They only use that for really one flight, which is the 787 flights to Newark. They do seasonally every summer. Uh, if you're not really in position, so use the co side for that. Uh, total fuel requirements this flight today is 8778 kilos. 8778. That goes there. And that's the airplane up payload. We'll deal with that uh, now, actually, just to take a passenger's boarding. Also, while we're at it, pack S also starts. The menu, start of flight. So, uh, this is Jet Shop to Sandstead, 2137, 30,000 crews, 2 hours 20 on the clock, slightly longer flight the return leg, departure in approximately to the quarter 2, uh, 17, so we've got 20, 27 minutes to departure. 738, 188 passengers, no other entertainment, so it's definitely a slightly quieter flight than the outbound. Let's go those go. Right there, right there, yes, the snacks, no two meals, cost cards not required at a flight number, let's not continue. Has just going to start their boarding process. Seems quite busy down here as well. Seems a lot busier than the, uh, the inbound. Trying to. Well, I'm not going to play about that. Especially that plant is also tracking this time. I'm not going to set our departure out of a uh, jet off this time. Especially that the aircraft is also selected. Delta Yankee Alpha. Perfect. Some brief good. Right, uh, so, flight plan. First weapon today is going to be from flight plan. Uh Godfrey. We're already doing departure, so passing out away from them to go back ourselves. Uh Godfrey. From Godfrey, Tango 738. Takes us to Dinov. Then it directs to Nadrox. Direct to Tadov. Direct to Kuma. I can't spell tools today, can I? I can't spell simple five letter words. Kuma directs to Nogoro. Mike for zero. And that takes us to Rennes. And finally, that's it actually. So, place runway 22 on arrival on the release one alpha arrival. Lovely 2 power departure, runway 09. There's no to see tonight, so we're going to do it all on Unicom today, which is fine. Uh, let's bring up our airplane, shall we? So, there you go. Let's ask some flight route 24. On the ground at the Jeshoff. Apart from some ATC potentially over Germany, German radar. Should be a relatively quiet flight. Now, I'm recording this at half, well, 30 minutes to midnight right now. 
But yeah, we'll tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, so departure, runway 09 on the Golgari to Papa, was it? Yep, Golgari to Papa. Let's do that. Right, uh, zero fuel weight. So, zero fuel weight is uh, 56.07. So, 56.1. Reserve fuel on board today is going to be 2.52. Cost index of 12, Rhino, and a cruising altitude of flights level 360. Uh, expected winds at cruise, grab the wind information, top climb 274 at 30 Sweet that, transition altitude 4000 feet, oh, that's a little bit time at the back there. <laughs> Medium climb and D rate takeoff. Perhaps 5 for part chart, center gravity was set with our V1137, Rosette 138, and V2147. goes into here. Uh, so this is just a DML flight, that's will be set correctly for the arrival. Uh, trim to Set FMS programs. That's actually that pretty much ready to go now. Jump over to the co pilot side, which is going to talk about music yet. Alright, uh, payload wise, passengers need to be set to 138 results. Uh, one three eight. Payload. Cargo three point four to one point five. Three point seven. Seventeen hundred and seventeen hundred. So it'll be a very light flight compared to the uh, inbound and the four percent low capacity on board. Fuel wise, for two percent level four. So yeah, so that's a bit. So I've had a slightly long duration flying to ahead when the entire time flies pretty much lighter, better in every single way. Um, cruising altitude today, so that'll be at flight level 36,000. No ATC today to go straight to cruising altitude. Aircraft slightly rocking a little bit. The wind's a little bit strong out here today, so we'll go look at weather very shortly. And altitude climb at flight level 360. Sets. 147 sets. And everything else looks pretty good. We can start the APU. There is fuel in the center tank, I'll be at less than a ton, so we won't turn this fuel pump on until we get ourselves airborne. But the uh, GSX passengers finished boarding, nice and swift today. Of course, everyone just rushed to the airplane to get ourselves back home. Ground handling may take a little bit longer, see there's a few uh, cases left to go for the front, so there is actually done pretty quickly there. Mm, as you know, about the same amount of time, one and a half crates each. Just to our left, we've got a lot of pressure challenge flights. And the stage of boarding came up very shortly. Uh, also, this will be going at 737 800s. Again, I do absolutely adore the scenery. Here you go. You know, uh, the station from the uh, G2A Arena. You know, everyone's favourite key reselling site. Yep, they're now in gaming esports centre in uh, the Cheshire shops at the airport. It's been seen a massive upgrade the last couple of years. I mean, the original airport terminal was this building here. That used to be the uh, terminal for the Zeshov, and they re expanded it and rebuilt it a couple of years ago. I remember going in at that terminal, it was absolutely it was tiny, inconvenient, on a hot day, it was really, really warm inside. That's what it used to go through. 2012, just for the uh, Euro, they have up the new airport building, funded by the European Union, and this building is so much nicer to the old. Then it kind of saw a bit of Inactivity. It, was, it was known as like one of Poland's uh, ghost airports, funded by the European Union to really not serve that many people. But the Jetro became a really big university city in Poland. Of course, you've got some really big expansions just opposite as well. New building centres and also a new aviation school to expand on the former aviation school. I think actually has closed down, kind of over there somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's seen a lot of work. The airport, very very nice compared to the uh, to the old. 
A few years? This is the airport, this is like the only airport I'd really go to. Every year I'd fly to Poland in the summer, every year I'd fly back home to Stansted or Luton. Very rarely do we have much variation. So it's nice to, uh, nice to, I guess, be 18, had more freedom to where I go in the world nowadays. But, so far I can so good. Flights can feel good, camera crew, and just passengers, we shall see the same very short sleep. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all trade tables are So yeah, the plan for me, I guess, is to get the aircraft uh, airborne out a few minutes, probably go have a shower, up, make sure I'm fully prepped for flying tomorrow, and then as soon as I land, make sure you sit up for uploading, and then it goes straight to bed tomorrow morning, then just turn the computer off, and then do all the studio stuff on my phone, so premiere set up in the schedule. It's a tight, tight slot I give myself, but if I want to get a return flight, it has to be now, it has to be done. Uh, it two, was it two and a half hours of flight time today? Ish. That's not on my uh, side. Get the clock there. Alright. Actually, we're in pre flight now, so we're actually pretty much good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ryanair Flight FR2137 from the Jet Shop to Hong Kong to London Sansted Airport. Flight on stay, 2 hours and 20 minutes, just in the flight station preparing our aircraft for part chart and hopefully airborne in the next 20 minutes or so. Just a few bags on the right hand side being loaded, but they should be finished very, very soon. Uh, quick update on the weather for you. Right now in London, the weather is reporting at around 17 degrees centigrade with no clouds in the area and some relatively light winds as well. Uh, any questions, feel free to be to our camera crew on board today. Otherwise, you can sit back, relax, and enjoy a flight of Ryanair today. Thank you very much. Yeah, good point there, actually. I have got the uh, seatbelt signs turned on. I have a ding. Comes on. And seatbelts on. There's a maybe camera crew call that. A generators on, AP bleed on, air conditioning going for the aircraft, the pack sets to auto, 86,000 crews set. Not for the uh, well, pack gets to figure out what I'm talk talking about now, roughly sooner than later. Go. Finally, get a message out to the cabin. Right, so if the crews are finished, what I can now do is prepare ourselves for departure. So GSX, we're going to prepare for the back in the part chart. Nose needs to face the left. Uh, make sure that the ground service is also cleared. So over to you. Previous page, previous page. Release the ground carts. Move the chocks, see you on the parking brake. And yeah, that's about it really. Run the APU, if it's active, wait for the ground crew to move into position, and then from there we are good to go. Don't know the jet bridge moved, that should have done that. Hey, go jet bridge, we're right there. We don't Hello, pay for you. We are ready for push back. Let's draw the exits, menu, FS, doors, close, close, and close, close, draw the exits, perfect. I right, should now just be on the overhead panel where it shows all the active exits. It's not here, all gone now. Departure checks completed, bypass pin inserted. Here comes the tug. Here comes the tug. Da, 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 da. Here comes the tug. And I say, it's alright. <laughs> there comes the pushback tug. So they'll get the airplane. She'll do all the work. And then very shortly, we'll get our clearance to push back and depart. Well, push back engine start at least. Parched off for a little while longer. We will need to 
I should turn the light. Don't come back track. No, there's a new taxiway out in Jefferson. Yeah, so Bravo taxiway. But basically, the original airport layout was runway, taxiway, gate area, Echo and Bravo and uh, Delta, all brand new taxiways. That's all new. That used to exist, little remote stand. All the buildings here are brand new. Again, if you look at the satellite imagery from this airport from, say, 15, 20 years ago, uh, notice you just go to the left. Release parking brake. You can see just how much has changed over the years. Parking brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Silence the uh, safety briefing. Uh, Silence the, uh, what do you call it? It's the body music, sorry. Let's do the safety briefing. We're giving them to start the engines now, so we'll get straight on to that. Engine 2 to start. Dome lights we will kill. Engine number two, before I do that, make sure the these come off. The packs come off. That's more like it. Engine two, fuel flow starts. Parking brakes. Parking brakes sets. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. We disconnect. Engine one stops. Engine one, the fuel flow starts. Very shortly, the sauce should reset. I'm kind of bumping the cockpit, I must say. <laughs> Alright, wait, the sauce should reset. Move back to continuous. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Perfect. Continuous, continuous. Generator, generator, APU, and packs. Quick systems flight control check. Elevator is good. Aileron is good. Rudder good. Spoilers good. It's down to five. Jet hand signal very shortly from Lady Gaga. Wing walk. Is that her? Barely see her. Yeah, there you go, she gives us the wave. Right, uh, so we just blind our taxi lights. Alright, so, and then we now have the set. Wave press across our path, and then we can continue with our, well, start a taxi actually. We should continue, it's not yet. Released. Let's see. Ah, okay, so on that occasion, we got to take config warning. That means our tail config is not correct. Flaps, once it down. Hello, that time, nothing. So, take config is okay. Let's continue our taxi. That is why in the Century 7, if you ever hear it taxi, it gets really loud for like two seconds and then quiet. 
the fourth thrust for a few seconds, and then that down to about 20% for the uh, taxi. Just a pilot taking, uh, testing the take configure warning. Draws out all the way. Draws in position, just he's being set. About the uh, Boeing taxi light, so the Airbus is that this one actually moves. Airbus static to the uh, gear frame, this attached to the wheel itself. So, down time, I can write into Bravo, taxi to the end, and then from there, we are good to depart. It's much about nine minutes, actually, in really good for time. Far better than I thought it would with GSX, that's for sure. When we're in GSX, is in position, it's like, yep, yeah, that's it. We're on the ground for 45 minutes, just wait for the ground crews to do their job. But on this occasion, it's like, boom, passengers boarded. Uh, Convey belts done their job straight away, everything on the aeroplane. I like it like that. <laughs> Obviously, Jeshov, an airport that's having too many problems with its ground crews at the moment. Right, so taxi to the end of the run, and the taxiway, make a left, enter the runway. Uh, look at the whereby, there's absolutely no one around here. It's not an airport that's particularly busy ever on IVAO or that sim or anywhere. So, which always guarantees a nice clear path on the way in and out. Right, safety briefing completed. So my seat today is 29A, so I'm sitting behind the wing on the left hand side. Quite far back to what we're doing, but most seats were actually booked out by the time I got to it, so yeah, we'll see you on our seat later on once we get ourselves airborne. Once again, if you're just tuning in now, this is a premiere, not live stream, in that right now I'm on this aeroplane, just about to fly out as a passenger. Track our flights either on 20 fly right 24 or via this video. Either way, works for you. UPS uh, sent for the cargo at the moment. Yeah, the airport itself, the actually has been quite active as of late. Uh, so it's with military traffic and uh, US Air Force traffic. So what's going on in Ukraine right now, this is the closest commercial airports to Ukraine and Poland. And so as a result, it's a bit of a takeover by the USAF. As a passenger passing through here, months ago, it's actually quite a different mood in the airport. But apart from that, it's not, uh, not too bad. As I say, as the experience, not much change. After security, got more American controls. We've got two uh, Ukrainian national aircraft that are parked here. They've been stored at Jetro 4 on behalf of the Ukrainian national airline. Of course, just to make the aircraft safe while the uh, well, where it takes place, takes place. So I can't imagine myself in that situation at the moment. But for millions of people that are unfortunately being displaced by it, yeah, it's not a great sight, it's not a great scene, it's not great anything. And of course, you've got the Russian people also not supposed to be what? Now being uh, arrested and removed from positions. And they do voice out. It's not a pretty sight at the moment. I'd love to visit Russia one day, but. That won't be now for a few more years. I would love to visit Ukraine as well. I actually, looks like we're going to Kiev um, about a year and a half ago, but again, that's probably on the back burner now. But as soon as tourism there kind of starts up again, even if like a small trip there helps our economy quite a bit. That's for something worth doing. Right, and that's on. Transponder sets to TAR right. Cabin crew, please take your seats for departure. Right, let's uh, do this, shall we? Start the clock, find the clock button, there. Trottle 40. 
engines one two stable and one sets bit. 80 knots hundreds one rotates Gear up. Next stop is London Stansted Airport. Get a few slight wind there, sensing us pushing us to the left. My hands on picking a crop steady on the flight path about two miles, make a right and turn. This is back onto the uh, flight path. What I'm doing now is following the flight director. Probably will make the right hand turn manually. Let's get towards the uh, centre of the Cheshire office itself. So the altimeter sets. Perhaps one. Where the uh, flight director needs to push the left there. Just walking around this uh, turn right here. Lips up. Actually, at this point, I'll just give up on the flight director now and just go straight to uh, do you, execute that, and autopilot set, and have been have. Ah! So the have on, probably would have helped. Probably would have helped. So, made a right turn, that'll get us clear of the initial uh, so the Cheshire, the city centre itself. I actually spent much time in the Cheshire, I say, my well, family live nearby, but we normally go up north towards one of the uh, smaller villages for them. Been through the Cheshire a couple of times, uh, of course we've been through it as well, going through the airports, but I've never spent too much time actually kind of in the city, see what there is. My brother has, but I've certainly not. At some point I probably will do. I'd like to make a trip out there and have a look. We set the anti skid brakes and very shortly past the thousand feet and the lights now come off. The light I wanted just sorry was uh that one. Perfect. See your climb out. Our cruise level 360. We're going to make this next uh, round turn, which is a few miles away now. About 15 miles. Then switch off to see that sign and pretty much keep that for the entire flight as we continue our way over to the UK. I'm going to take a quick shower very shortly because, of course, I'm flying out tomorrow morning. But if I get both legs done, kind of in one sitting this time of night, then that for me is a miracle in itself. Like, wow, I've done everything I've ever needed to. 
So I hope I can do it. Uh, like also directs to the facts. Uh, so I'll do that. Wait, we can be directed to. Fly ten miles to uh, the Jeshaw five two three. Skip going through your tab and fly straight to uh, South Atlantic, approach to the uh, city of Krakow on a straight line path all the way through to uh, Germany. Should be an easy way of doing things. Rather than go back themselves to Goblin and uh, Autumn. So he's going to make that sharp right to go straight through. We'll be uh, gone from there. Right, let's set you up. And let's go. So if I zoom out again, see he's now straight on path. No major deviations now for the next couple of hundred miles, really. Some cities in the background see kind of where this ground will glow a little bit more than others, but. Most of flights of nightlife has always been really well. It's definitely improved. I remember when it first came out, it was a little bit hit and miss from night lighting, but definitely, definitely a world away from that now. Night lighting was one of the big things that, is, that hasn't been improved in the flights since it first came out. And the end result is quite, uh, it's quite something, quite special, I'd say. There's the potential behind us, there's the airport. That was slowly fades away in the background. Good luck right now since that's not required. Everything else is pretty good. Now I see uh, expectors there for the blue wall lights. And uh, set the blue uh, wall lights off. See so that signs off. See that signs off. And there you have it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your flights. The flight crew has turned off the fastest default time. You can now get up and move about the cabin. However, we ask that you use your default fastest when you Unexpected response. Strange off the lens up. Alright, so let's have on seat 29A today. So I have to look at who's using the cabin, who's sitting our seat today. Any names you recognise, we're going to have a look at that. And then from there, I guess you're going to do the same thing, really. So, let's go to our climb outs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Uh, Renata Kaspjak, 40 years old, traveling on the leisure. Any names you recognize? Let's go through the cabin now quickly. Uh, maybe straight away. Jenna Cole, do you recognise that name from somewhere, but I don't quite know where. Uh, apart from that, nobody straight out obvious. Nope. Jeziki, I like that. Jeziki. No one worth to shout about. I don't know never thought about Jenna Cole. I don't know, it's like a Jenna Cole Jesse Cole I'm thinking of. There is a name similar to that I may know. No clue. <laughs> Anyhow, let's come to our climb out. So passing now through flight level 230, 23,000 feet. Space arrival about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Hopefully, we can do that down down a little bit more. Uh, 2155 Zulu, it's sending it to uh, Stansted, so we've got another yeah, two, two hours and two minutes to expect arrival. At 
for me is uh, 2.06 a.m. London time. Knacker for tomorrow. Definitely say most flight of sleep, I think. Get on the aeroplane, close my eyes, and then just wake up, hopefully, getting closer towards our destination. But it's worth it. I get two flights done in one go, then that works in my favour. But uh, yeah, did I climb out? As I say, there's no AT tonight expected, apart from potentially over Germany, if they sell online uh, Roman radar. See, that <laughs> Roman radar's on like 24-7, no matter what time there you go, it's always online. And there we are. Now the part is, and slowly on our way out of the jet shop tonight. Now, I'm going to get myself prepped for bed, so I have a quick shower, quick shave, make sure I'm ready to go. Essentially, it's a case, like I say, as soon as I land, upload the videos, stick, uh, leave them to upload overnight, and then tomorrow morning, just shut the PC off and have it all ready to go. I've got some screenshots as well, ready for thumbnails, so I'll create those in the background. The sooner I get this going, the better it will be for me. We should go to bed, upload, stick a thumbnail on, draft, upload, stick a thumbnail on, draft. Everything else done at the airport tomorrow, waiting for the air flights. So, uh, yeah, apologies for some of your super exciting uh, premiere. If I had more time, I would be here throughout the entire flight to talk to you guys and do everything I could, but this one, like I say, it's very much a case of <laughs> I've got to go. But anything for also to get the content out for you guys. I know I had a bit of a quiet week last week, I do apologise for that. I had a few things on my mind I need to take care of. But, uh, yeah, apart from that. Should be pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Let me get that shower up and I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
starting our in-flight service. We will be serving complimentary drinks and snacks. Please look in your seat back for our list of complimentary and premium drinks. Premium drinks are available for a small charge. If you wish to make an additional purchase, please note that we only accept credit cards.
sorry, wrong audio source. Uh, yeah, hello again. We jump to, I guess, low lighting, uh, lighting in the room, just so I can get more, well, for me it's just a bit easier to keep myself calm and go to sleep. For a minute's flight. There and 45 to go now, 23 minutes airborne. So far looking so good. 56,000 feet to cruise, pass this at 96%. My complaints there from the back today. So we need four camp comments in at the full five, for the inbound flight. Or we drop some off and home how we just left them behind. Uh, but apart from that, everything's pretty good. Right, empty tour of the aeroplane. In reality, kind of this to this are cheaper seats, and therefore, if you're paying for your seat, these will go very quickly. And these are the front, and they're a bit uh, quieter. No, so far, so good. Flight's pretty uh, busy. Well, about, about, about three quarters of four, so it'll be starting to done on the uh, packs. But uh, yeah, progress is strong. Thanks for our position right now. We're down the lamps up. So we are still in Poland, south of London, the Rotswaf for the last time in the email flight. Possible to slightly south where we did last time. The entire route's kind of just slightly south of what we did last time. I'll be at change over South Felix though. We can send them one way to two. So we part of this way, we land this way. Off that boat, we put you. Good. Uh, Roman radar have disappeared now. Still a few sectors left, but I think, uh, sorry, long radar, Roman, uh, long radar is still online. A few small sectors left, but we go for more uh, local controls. We will fly through that. And if that's online or not. Mm, okay, um, yeah, yeah. They're not responsible for 245, so point speak to them. Could speak to them if they're alive a bit longer. Up now, pretty much slowly south border of Poland. I'm on my way now to uh, Stansted. I think I'm going to have to fight here. Yeah, I want to get down from the uh, chair shelf today. Apart from that, pretty good. I'm sure right now I probably will be getting a bit of sleep in because I'm working tomorrow morning at 9am, so I land at around midnight, which is before midnight. I don't know if I'm going to take train back or get a pick up. That hasn't been determined yet. Hopefully, well, I don't mind either way. Let's get trains to London and have underground available. Should be okay. So, if I get some clothes out on this flight, have a little nap, and wake up over in. Well, wake up on approach, get some photos and videos of landing, of course, it's important bits. Gotta go to Snapchat, uh, Instagram stories, and to be fair, Snapchat as well for a couple of mates. But apart from that, so far, so good for my end. Uh, so, keep progressing, keep looking around the flight so far, keep seeing how we progress. We have three degrees to pitch up at the moment, which is fine. Uh, we'll get a few minutes to we start looking at the approach configuration to instead. Apart from that, 70 knot headwinds, not too strong today. That is a bit gusty and a bit windy. Mm, and the other wind effects pretty minimal at the moment. Biggish town over there, that's going to be the Rock's Wath. So, uh, yeah, let's go do the flight, shall we? I'll uh, so I'll race around the camera a little bit more at this point on, since I've now done everything. What I'll do now, well, great, but in fact, let me do that now. Let's get some. Uh, on this these videos, so go to Photoshop and open up the templates. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Right, OneDrive, YouTube, and now. Uh, I think the film is much the same as the tip. The title gets the real flight tag, but the thumbnail is, uh, yeah, it says same now, I think. Uh, and it also gets a real flight tag, that's fine, so... Real flight... So I guess the number question I get asked these primates is, what does real flight mean? I mean, I've done it so many of these now, that surely it should be quite self-explanatory. And as I'm flying for real, follow me. I must admit, I've never really thought about it, so it's the security side of things. I mean, as far as I can tell, what I'm doing is kind of following a flight like a flight radar. You just take it down on an aeroplane, but... I don't know, I've never had too many kind of problems with that. No one's ever complained, no one's ever questioned it. I think it's perfectly alright. If anyone knows otherwise, please let me know before I go to America. Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, tell, this has never been a big problem. So, yeah, our flight is Stansted to Jeshaw. Yeah,
E. Um, next hand for the, the gesture. Sorry, it's an O, not an E. It's an O that has an accent on this uh, spelling. Cool. Go for last three shots from the outbound flight. Probably going to be this one. Actually, between the two, it's this one. Or that. No, that that's the winner. That's the nicest screenshot. Or. I don't know. In lighting the whole start, that was also really, really good. Contender, I think. For the in flights part of it, that one's probably our winner for the outbound. Fix the frame. Time to okay. So a bit of uh, Photoshop magic on it. We'll go back to there. You sound the outer, just across and up. So that's on number one. Pretty self entry. Run that plane, real flight centre to the gesture off. Now we return the other way around. So change the title around. And let's grab a thumbnail screenshot, which of course is going to be this one. Love that photo. Perfect, what I need. So look that in Photoshop. Same thing, just stick it on there. Crop as required. And in the wing that is. Uh, where are you? There. A bit of a darker thumbnail that, but should do okay for this leg. Real flight, the gesture of the instead. And that'll do with the uh, rest of the video. Perfect. Right, this documents, YouTube, miscellaneous, and upload. Thumbnail 2. So as soon as I'm on the ground, I'm going to go straight into just uploading these and getting them out there ready for the uh, video productions. That's for right now. So we in Poland entering German airspace. All the uniform, of course. Not too much else going at the moment, so we'll pitch back the entire flight today. To be fair, when was the last time I even did like a holy night flight amongst the flight simulator? I don't know if, like, if I did it towards an evening, I would probably set time back an hour or two just to kind of get the sunset in this kind of trip. But uh, it's been a long time since I've to the flight, kind of departing in night time, knowing in night time, time duration, all in night. And I do the premiere for the Washington to Frankfurt flight. Now I'll have a full day night cycle, departing in the evening, sun will set at the Atlantic, and then a rise towards the UK. But uh, yeah, I don't often do a full night flight from start to finish. A bit different. Of course, these videos I know in past have always been a bit more frown, well I say frown upon, basically back in the past whenever I do these uh, kind of videos they're pretty the most disliked because of course it's too dark, I can't see anything, Nighting, uh, night flights are ugly and rubbish so that's why I was put off doing them for so long, uh, but I don't know, I don't know if the moves have kind of changed and people got different opinions and feelings for it, do let me know if you want to do some more night flights on the channel, so just let me know, I'll, uh, I'll try and schedule some, I don't mind them personally, the process pretty much the same, just 
just instead of being light outside, it's dark outside. But ultimately, you guys are you guys are on the channel. I just do what you want me to do. So give me a shout if there's anything you want to change. I'll happy you move, make uh, make those adjustments as you want. Which one the war sort? So the hmm, it's an F forty. I'm sorry, I'm not very good screenshots. You can up particularly probably more to the US right now. Watch out, New York. United 737-800 and to approach somewhere. Get a tick button as well for that now. Uh, what's this? Alabama, some country, some country airlines. I'll screenshot that, I'll give you that. That's pretty nice. Default camera view, but pretty nice. I'm gonna go, sorry. I've not seen that, uh, but not a person recognised straight away. Oh, it's just an S for Sun, fair enough. <laughs> Pretty self sure that, I guess. Uh, what else have we got in the region? We've got one for San Francisco. Another 7 screenshot. Okay, that's pretty interesting. The flights across the uh, Atlantic and San Francisco from Amsterdam. American Airlines coming into land in P3D. Oh, so it's actually an FSX. Let me check an edit license tag on that. It's an FSX. Alright, we're at the natural waypoint, which means we have just left Poland and officially entered Germany. That's flight progress, just under the other way there now. We are expected arrival, you can see that changes at all during the flight, so it's Alright, that's on way to two from the Rinus One Alpha approach. Alright, that's two two. Rinus One Alpha. Let's just use my Avatar Laurel, probably neither. Let's get to the steps. Make sure nothing else is missing. There's a continuity, but Abbott it's straight on to Charlie Act uh, Charlie Factor 2. Abbott seems to be pretty sure one way, so as far as I'm concerned, that's the approach by once. Yeah, Abbott, Factor 2 2, then straight down the wide path, perfect. Let's keep that. Grab the, uh, we'll get rid of that now, so we're back to map. Grab the runway, see the fixes. Set up for the prison action 360, so 6, 12, 18, 100, and eight. yeah, 108, uh, 10, and 4. So again, standard numbers, we always use for every single flight we do. Uh, so yeah, we should have rounds. Uh, 21.53 is we do expect to touch down. It's now 20 and 6, about an hour and a half to go. Right, I'm back in short minutes. Just gonna make sure again I'm also going to for tomorrow. Back in a bit.
Alright, so that list is over there. That is Berlin, German capital. You can go around the Berlin region, it's about an hour and a half at the most, an hour and 20 minutes or so. Here we go, Berlin, the pop plumber, just down here. The friend of our get to the south. Temple of the TV, which is the north. So it must have been a little bit too far out range to get much of a view of. But yeah, so far so good. Air 30 minutes next to from the passenger side of things, just heading now. Well, they're okay, we're okay. So surely the rentals are dropped. Still a little while to go, but they're halfway there yet, but probably at 36,000, pretty good on our end. Start with the forecast, shall we? Flight with 360. 200 and 100. Uh, transition level, 6,000. Uh, I think I just discovered that 20 minutes ago. Pickle information goes straight there. You should click quite easily on the five box difference pages. So, TOD is 36, 280 at 34. And on the sentence 200, 218 at 20, and 100, 85 at 18. So put those in now. 280 at 34. Uh, two, 218 at 20. And 185 at 10. Two that, ones are good. Uh, later with information at Sandstead shows you have Timotar at 1013. Nice and easy, nice and standard for us. And the standby. So snaking across Europe with the uh, Amsterdam Manning departures. TPK with a heavy anchor cargo. That's one, then inbound to Amsterdam just landing from Athens right now. And say so, Trenton Neo, I think KM will break through Trenton Neo, hence the default livery there. Uh, so we're now bound also moving to London very shortly in Gatwick Airport and to number five. All the Londons have gone offline. She got a good press radar on though, they're all fully active. The last two hours they have. Apart from that, on my end, nice and peaceful this evening. I like the deep aircraft they have before and it's blazing just look around from the exterior. This is a shame, it's the same bit of a PS doing like that, but so we might be able to do the uh, social external. Apart from that though, it looks pretty standard. Gee, do I have the uh... No, not on this area, I don't, but I can send them on to kind of stubble these as well for the cockpit can. Benefit, so we can just think to my guests the fact that the sound doesn't transition across also the eyebrow window to be quite visible from the external cockpit. Apart from that though, it's need to have a bit of 700 sometimes. I should probably try and do a video on this one again soon. We've got a lot of 800 packs, I should bring them with a with an airline as well. For the jet flights, uh, jet 2 flights, say, London to Skiapros. That's what we're all waiting for. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. Flights pressing well. Passengers are satisfied with 5%. So we're on a half now to get arrival. Eventually, the option I'll go to the end as well for the 100 and the correction. Uh, how was that? The uh, 350 mile marker, 370 mile marker. Get more of a range on the uh, bone as well. They have a sense to 240, so it's 600 and something. And then it goes down to 10 miles, it goes down to 5, which is very, very good. And it's instance up to yeah, 640 miles, and that is more of the uh, 540, which I believe. Since tank is empty, in fact, sorry, tend to actually turn it on configuration. Yeah, fill in there, and we'll use it, that's what's telling me. 
Not that Sensei will be burning for too long, so we've got a ton of fuel in there. 5.4 tons left, so it's going to at 3.6. That's fine. Uh, progress, uh, 3.5 per cent said. So that brings back to your rival. Found the plus 5 knots on creation, so we create the 1.9 knots. 1010 plus 1.5, of course 222. Again, very clear that to do all the time. In fact, already not standby. <laughs> Alright, 222 on the course. Of course, and so that box to do as well, because it's on the other way around. Oh, so now fully configured for pressure landing. Aircraft knows what it's doing, and all we're going to do is we get close to our top descent. Just set the altitude, and the aircraft is in for us. Uh, as for the speed, it's pretty hard for 2.0 not to get until the short final. Try and do a bit early and slow down. To last time, a little bit late on the gesture. Actually, I'm not going to touch on 70 knots to realise it. I'd speed up the aircraft so much. Of course, in that case, the 20 knot headwind certainly wouldn't help us either. But right now, aircraft's looking good, cruising without any problems, and uh, yeah, I'm on my way now towards London, just on the halfway there now. ETA 2142 Zulu, 2242 local. Scheduled arrival time is 23.15, so I have a plane instead of schedule. We're going to depart for the as well. So, um, the schedule of ground crews were very quick, passengers were very quick, just the way I like it. Uh, yeah, again, DSX, I'm afraid give it a bit of praise finally. It's actually doing its job. Actually doing its job the way I really wanted it to.
Hello again. Alright, see so the fuel lights come online, so it's the tank is now drained. Then come off. That's a fuel flow from to well stop basically wasting hydraulic power and electric pumps and sent tanks keep on now switched off. Still don't get in there three quarters away. Arrival time. So we're gonna wait now. Something or else I expected. Uh, 21.52. So, with nets. 50. No. <laughs> uh, 53. Uh, 43 minutes to landing. Everything's probably good. Top of drop is slowly getting closer now. Also, I'm just going to head to Western Europe a bit more. Light down below if you want to see stuff to build up. Uh, at this point, we are just approaching the German Netherlands border. Some light. Uh, yeah, just north of Düsseldorf. And uh, also, it's a bit of a bit of a storm out there as well. To the left hand side. Mm, I don't know, don't see the storm. It's pretty clear. But, yeah, flight progress is a pretty strong R end. I think it's pretty good. I the flight as it is. And uh, fight for um, ah, no, normally, <laughs> actually, at least that's basically the long haul flight did nine hours from JFK, not JFK, um, Frankfurt JFK. Accidentally deleted it. I thought I was on this page, but it feels like a current flight I was doing. In reality, I was on the flight's page, and I accidentally deleted my JFK leg from uh, Frankfurt, so I'm hoping that the ability we have to recover it. If not, I've got plan B in place already. I think she's really low lighting, aren't they? Um, so I'll probably try and recover it, but uh, I should take this off now. Which is really nice. um, yeah, it's slightly annoying that. We really fly some river shots as well, taken from it. But there is a good landing. It should be a simple enough approach in. Obviously, how busy the airspace is over the UK now. I fly from the UK a lot, too new. Focus these pairs, I think we are quite firmly set in the uh, Yeah, the airspace has that. But, uh, I'm not as busy as June anymore. I'm down to uh, about three now. It's my fourth flight a month. Hopefully, half the time it's four. So, I'll start screenshot on Glenta. I'm 17, which has 7810. Still a nice screenshot, wasn't it? The colouring did not come out well. That's a nice one. That's a lot. I have other things from Neo. I took slides and now I'm to four. And then the uh, 10 for eights. Was uh, Amsterdam to uh, Juliana. Also, pretty fun actually. Uh, for now, pretty quiet. Ooh, all the lights from this person. As soon as that, let's explain. All the lights for that. Next time, yeah, so he's just uh, a bit of local. Hang on. British Airways from Quebec to Infinite, Infinite Local. Yeah, I just want to be sure that that's the uh, Northern Lights are very pretty, very pretty. And Africa. Ah, interesting. Black pressure bar. Is that the, um, what's it called? The really fancy one for explaining that cost $100, $120 even. Interesting, I'm not seeing that before. You do get a kind of in-flight system with packs, so if I go shift 9 and then you go to my feet, and from the browser, then my feet. So FR2137 from uh, the Sandstead to the bottom of the Cheshire, I'm rooting in there. Current position right now, just across the border, right now actually, what the heavens. Uh, ETA, ground speed, satisfactions, altitude. Well, she actually really opened it to the uh, kit design um, radio people. Again, pretty simplistic, it does its job. Right, top set now, only 80 miles away. Let's 
to the post and have to one as well. Nice and front on the channel between us and the UK now. Yeah, number three runways, one, two, three. Where was this? This is uh oh, it's an Air Force Base. It's uh Dinan Air Base next to the National Sorry, the National Zvitsligen Centrum Tertet. Okay. Attempt that one again. Uh so actually yes, that's one airport, the second airport, airbase and national something something. National Garden Club perhaps? Probably not. Anyway, it's level 360 top percent now in just a few minutes. Uh it's one it's one team Zulu. The drop is at actually four, so ten. Ten minutes to go now. Apart from that, everything looks pretty good for my end. Which will be good, then we'll more than this just get some people getting I can't do the tempo off this route, whatever. Uh, yeah, no, pretty good for my end. A bit of that schedule, of course, schedule for the uh, premiere and match that to the real life flights as so close as possible. Get back, hopefully, we'll catch a late train to London. Uh, I was going to get myself to Liverpool Street without too many problems, I'm going to go straight home. Uh, we're going to get to Stratford, so I've got the options from there potentially. Is Stratford this offer? Yeah, we're going to Stratford. Unless I'm going to go right on the hail, but it won't. <laughs> Different routes, of course. But, um, yeah, I've got a few options potentially. Oh, tired. We've got a plane to land. Uh, two hours and one minute now. I'll be at yeah, I'm gonna like navigate through most of this. Still have the new intro. There was a joke together by a couple of mates and I, and it just became actually it came quite popular. Got quite a few positive comments and reactions from people. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. People loved it. Never know. It might come back. That stream is not great, and again, I haven't streamed the entire week now, seven days ago, and then to the month yesterday. I need to pick up the post story up and get some good viewership for the American stuff. I've been having pre recording scheduled this live stream stuff, so yeah. I haven't had a really interesting week, to say the least, so I've not been quite out of the channel, which I as much as I would have liked, I can only apologise for that. But uh, hopefully things will be good well. So another week of whole preparing for America. Once I'm back from America, I think you should just kind of fizz out and relax. Till then, yeah, we're going to be quite tight on the schedule. Also, the train's got train issue as well. That probably be the first time I get back. Train's got three, and just like two, three hours of negotiation with that. Should have been released though. Again, time just did not work for me. Uh, down below now, passing through. Uh, Wienendal and uh, Utrecht is also now on the screen as well. Wienendal, Utrecht. Fly slightly south of them, Schiphol. The lighting should be visible for us uh, at those points in time. Is that it? For this maze? Yeah, it's just a town. That is Schiphol. Just in front of us to our uh, two o'clock.
Mm, no, negative visual, a bit too dark, a bit too far away. Then you get the proper high definition lighting, you get the proper pocket scenery, a bit further out, you can use the, uh, the generic light uh, glow instead, which is fair enough. Okay. Yeah, a little couple of months of us and lights have lights been on a while, so I can't quite remember how, how clear you can see the uh, visual stream lights in this altitude. It's not, yeah, not a terrible range of that. I don't understand if I'm going to be more of a wet moss yet. I don't know if I'm going to see that. That's going to be... Oh, the rough man's below us, that's lots of them. Oops, what is this in there? Boom and crash. Bit of a cry. Um, you know, it's a visual. I'm not going to see if I'm going to plan for a... I'm going to stand up with the extra shot of the rough to them. The heads. I've been through the Netherlands transit, I've been transit to Paris, but uh, I don't really spend too much time on the ground here. Potentially try to make it some point soon as well. Said. We've got charts around yet, uh, we'll find some really charts, more likely to go off for that. Right, uh, but again, we're out of the area anyway, so down to two down the we go. Take the altitude, give all the passengers, and we'll take it from there. Ladies and gentlemen, an update from the flight deck, which is about some sort of sent into uh, Sunset, and then approximately 30 or so minutes. Thank you for choosing right now, of course. We hope you enjoyed the flight so far. If you need to use toilets, please do so now, as also we got the facilities for landing. We are now letting the weather at Sunset, reporting now 16 degrees centigrade, with slight northerly heading wind, but no clouds in the area, and no rain either reported or scheduled for several days. Once again, thank you for tuning Brian there, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our support today. Right, we're back into the cabin. Out of UK and Horizon now. I'm just the very tips of it coming to view. Some hatch to in the air, but nothing within 10 gallons of feet itself. You can just clear this by the way around. As soon as you get a vision of the airport, pretty sure it's spotted straight away. The uh, approach path itself is pretty much straight in uh, through to Abbott, left hand side is the end of the glide slope. The right view is gentle from the hold, the two obviously knocks all the way down to the ground. The aeroplane, my job is getting sent from there. Yeah, apart from that, the last thing to do is go and get the unicorn. So, arrival on my 2 2. And the glittery 2 pack for arrival, and down from the east. And then a transition uh, negative. The situation target will be Abbott. And the 
Okay. So it'll be an uh, inbound for that, so that'll be that. Cool, so we need to have a look as we need to. Now it's a top drop, and it's the same, shall we? And then we're approximately 30 minutes, we're about 10 ahead of schedule points in time. The train approach we've got, I can't imagine too much we need to go wrong at this point. We're going to announce the head schedule just in case we do get a little delay, but I understand nothing away to announce in London's Hansen Airport. Go. A bit more uh, reserved screenshots this evening. It's quite nice to see there the moonlight just shining onto the onto the docks below. So, check on sense. Less than 25 minutes to expect the touchdown. And I'd say the entire route ends pretty much straight, uh, straight on. Could probably do a direct to and I wanted to, but for the slightly shaky punch mark in just sake of an Anderson to match up with live time. And of course, in Simmons. As I'm recording, always be seeing a slight variation to the route and uh, runway potentially as well. So, runway uh, zero nine at the station is not too commonly used, used to to most of the positions as the ILS, but again, you get the differences. Yeah, just look at that screenshot, absolutely. Gorgeous. The yeah, coastline map. Uh, that light, by the way, is on the horizon. That was uh, Antwerp. That there, Antwerp. And then Brussels, slightly further south of it. Uh, Bruges is there. And our entry point is UK, just slightly south of Felix, though, because we crossed part of the outbound flight. Bit of Colchester Direct and then straight into uh, runway 22. Just got a gift that someone made of me, uh, a little dance. Uh, <laughs> it is funny. I don't deny it for a second. It is funny. And there's XP Sensu Davis' wife, uh, giving the head rub. Yeah, great guy, XP. Definitely worth checking out if you like your uh, flights and streams. Alright, down we go.
back. Should be able to fight now. So we will have a replay. It's got nothing to follow along this one, so straight in, bring it to the end and take the replays. If you get extra, so it's a run to keep the boiling process. But again, none of their ports. Certainly not quite as speedy as those out in there in Poland at the moment. <laughs> to be fair, Poland's um, well, certainly not post challenges yet, but recoveries post COVID actually been pretty uh, pretty good. I can't wait for a second. I mean, lots. So I think when the uh, temperature of Max uh, got grounded, they were the first time to basically lease out every single aircraft they could in Europe. Any type, any aeroplane, any company, at least, 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 least. The point they actually had a pretty strong fleet throughout it. Very few political cancellations and results. Uh, then COVID strike, all the leases, they just cut, dropped it, lower their costs by domestic. Airports, pretty much kind of a uh, quick recovery back on stacks. Again, a lot of security checkpoints done by the military, which they've got for the London South. Uh, it's only quite recently they stopped doing um, conscription in Poland, like 2004. They had to do uh, minimum six months in the army. Even now, you can still do people voluntary six months if you want to. Yeah, no, Poland's recovery out of COVID and uh, and airlines in general actually have been pretty strong as a whole. Right, hold 250 knots. So break the level to 3, go over on quickly at Sunset. And we go play a game of risk with the arms followers already. Probably will need them though later on in the descent, once we get up through 22,000 feet. Okay, now since the standard at the moment, stands in 013. I'll go over right now. 1013 still currently in the entire sunset, so I'm going to be adjusting that anytime soon. Cover that glass you channel right now. And the, as the Amsterdam to get to right, to our left is Heathrow arrival. Let's try and spot the flashing lights of either of those, one behind me, one to my left. And from down below, uh, to my left, the answer is. Negative. And behind me, I think it's close, so I've been standing down, so down for a bit more luck. And the answer is not particularly. I've got the TPS from this. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm behind me to my right. I'm about 35 miles here. Not particularly. Not particularly visual range that one. It's going to be 21,000. That. Uh, that's going to be 10 Death Street, south end that side, I'll oh, check you down there. Then right to the coastline of the Margates, Rams, not Ramsgate, uh, Margates, uh, well, I went there a couple of weeks ago, my mother on a little day trip. Here's Ramsgate, yeah, Margate, Broad says Ramsgate, Gillingham, Maidstone. Four thousand, see the signs on. Another nine thousand, and that's on the ten minutes one to the cabin crew. Again, very easy approach today for us to maintain. It's two a.m. now. Cool, it's very late, but for content, well, a sleepless night, I guess. Coming by, there's no things stopping me. Shall we glance about that? I'm going about an hour and a half, hour and a half sleep tonight. Another hour and a bit in the car. Try to get that on the plane. 
be a bit knackered when I get there, but it should be okay for the most parts. Okay, like tomorrow I go to the shop and try myself. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done any drinks in a couple of years now. I'm not something I particularly want to drink, but I'm desperate for a boost. I guess it's all an option. We just bought a Coca Cola, we've got caffeine in it, isn't it? Group the coffee. Last time 18,000, that's level 180. Still so holding that airspeed to 2.0 knots. Uh, once again, the can stand said reporting. Uh, one six zero at four knots. Only a four knot headwind coming in from right to left. It's too excessive. Not even standing there enough. Heathrow, uh, not Heathrow enough. I'm at stand. I don't need route that actually. But I cough up. Probably just two at coughing now. Can't stand. Negative two from uh in Prague. Oh Prague. I wonder if they'd like late departures from the uh. We got a stream out here last night. That's the reason I tried did. Look at the green arc, position wise, spot on. Right, it's not on. If anything, I'm actually a little bit below the view right now. Can't touch the beats. See that path nice, slow, and steady with the, uh, the way in. Green's all set, of course, it's all set. So, this stands for BOR now. So, the BOR is going to be. It was Bark, wasn't it? Yeah, so I should have that blank for now. Get the Barkway, which is the uh, holding point for a go around, not necessarily what I want to be set up at this point in time, so okay, that's fine, leave as it is. Felix, though, welcome to Colchester. On. Ladies and gentlemen, the flight crew has turned on the fastest stop time. Already motivated, not so many for me to slow down any further. I think at this point in time, is there anything else I potentially need for Poland? I may not have had. I don't have to have just in case. These ones. What do I get for those ones? What do I say? Super try. Go for these are Polaroids. Uh, yeah, these are Polaroids. Okay, Polaroids. These are a little orange frame. These are just a little back. These are quite nice for the summer. These ones kind of <laughs> rest of the year. Very short, isn't it? The water from the coast there has been absolutely fantastic throughout the entire flight. Night lights and flight sim definitely got a lot better. Thanks to flight sim in general as a whole, just got a lot better. The sim absolutely smashing out the water now. 
but while I'd say Mad Lighters was a bit of a hunt for one or second choice, it was so one of the failing points of the best. But I don't know, they've listened to us, uh, Sobo. Really improved it now. Right, added 12 or above, that's fine. Shortly, I can show the sense. Ten minutes and ten minutes. Right, that's our ten minute warning. And then we have final checks. And then we've got some the well, ten minutes to point. So we'll see how to go on for the three zero. It's fifty three fifty two landing. Season of that is fine. Uh, yeah, seems nice landing. That I'm going to do is that increase our set rates, smooth that down about 8,000 as possible. Bring our green arc back. Perhaps it should be in that. Uh, why the like, like so the final time. Place a bit. Yes. If we see spoilers, spoilers are definitely not option for me. In fact, yes, yes, I will. Yeah, the bridge of things will only be about 5,000 for Abbots. Going, airport is in sight. Oh, my proof sites in the uh, Ryanair Centre at the outer sound set, and I should have a video to find into Stasty yet. That's not actually landing here. Now, just to two to zero knots. And keep the shots anyway slightly.
so I'm going to and speed there. Just close that again. That's too soon as possible to get flaps out the sock so it slow down. 60. Should we do 220? That's good by Abbott's. I'm just going to catch up now. Five. Okay, we're about to be approach speed now, which is going to be approach speed of 149. Yeah, slow down. Continually, it's going to be approaching center eight. It's not so the whole thing is center eight. Doesn't really slow down particularly much. It's like this one, worse to slow down. At century 67, they're not too bad. But if 20, this is nothing. <laughs> they trade spoilers, they do job, so they have no problems. This, gotta time it, gotta time it. Only now she's in 220 knots, beyond Abbott's. Naughty naughty. Uh, apart from that though, I'm going to post the Abbott now, coming soon. Knots just for you to decide what kind of that is. You're now getting some supply slope. That's it, you're like Pfizer. Now, the second marker at the actual price of start, so we've got a bit of breathing room now. Didn't have earlier. That's 10. Cabin crew, seats for landing please, seats for landing. Alright, door left finds that active. Vertical slowly comes down. Get down at the flaps. Landing. Turn this down a little bit lower, preferably. Down from the tiny flaps, perfect. Fresh made arms. Not quite so two captures. Perfect. Quite some captures. the four mile cycle for my marker so I do have to begin checks gear down through greens flat sets spoilers are armed brakes uh, sets camera secure anchor is assumed and checks complete now to the blue throttle manual throttle And stay slow. Now we're up to 12. So we're really a 4 knot wind, up to 12 now. To get up and not simply too excessive. <coughs> so we're not on our knots. My adjustments are supposed to be that steady. Not much work for me at this point in time. 1000, safe approach. Approach attitude to set 3000.
not deactivate. Oh yeah, we're fine. Tools, maybe I cough up and touch down. Sets. Hundred knots. Eighty knots. Six knots reverse to idle. And they came on way to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London Sensor Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London Stansted. The local time is 10.53 p.m. and it's currently about 16. It's a tiny bit of schedule. Well, it's not actually. Not too bad, not too bad. We have to pass taxi right, make our way back to the terminal, and then pick a sandwich choice to bring us into gates. Let's down, that's up, let's reset. <clears throat> From APU we can start. Bad that, not bad at all. Right, then that's now come off. I just like to say active. Transponder comes off. I'll increase the slightly, just get some loads of taxiway. Stand now. Go for stand. Let's go. Doors middle. About 42. That'll do. So GSX. Uh, it's going to be a. Ooh, good question. Is east or west? Uh, it'll be west parking. 22. No fun required. Right now, thank you very much. So, you yeah, have proper Ryanair blue handling, LP1 to balance into the uh, stand off that. So, just double check the charts. So, that's 22, which is on the middle apron. So, we've got eight cargo apron. Correction, I wanted 42, not 22. I'm talking about change stand, sorry. <laughs> Revoke. And. Again, shall we? Uh, 42. Uh, east. This page. Next page. None of those. Back to west. Uh, 42. Two hours and fifty minutes flight time today, two hours and fifty minutes air time, which again, not terrible for this flight. About average for it. Five to ten minutes ahead of schedule, then ten minutes ahead of schedule. Of course I'll just premiere to get as close to real life flight time as possible. And uh, yeah, got to get it from there I guess.
but overall, not bad off. We only just had three, definitely had him pretty well at the moment. Cargo is now. Just what's the little tarot on the round side? Uh, yeah, so possibly the aprons onto the, uh, the middle. <coughs> So that's the health of the apron. We need to eat Charlie's. Yep, jet 2. I'm ready for this. There's no. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's too late at night to do that. So not out loud. Mother's sleeping next room. She drives the airport about just under two and a half hours. Oh uh, boy, we'll be knackered in the morning. <clears throat> Bravo, we need Charlie. Cross. Thank you, please. On. There we go. Just see that one's popping over the top there. Right. There we go. Yeah, for that for a second. Let's see, is he standing behind the, uh, <laughs> the the parking podium? That threw me off for a second. Well, thanks to your great position there, ground uh, with regard to ones. Great favour, that's something right there. There's no problem to see him, nope. He is there. He's not getting run over, he's literally standing in between the road. There's the, uh, the parking podium. I'm just going to go to the right. This is the uh, line right here. Right, right. sets. So I've actually gone a little bit earlier, but hey ho. Engines cut. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Unsense Airport. Low time right now is just one minute past 11. Temperature side at 16 centigrade. Thank you for choosing Ryanair. We hope you enjoyed the uh, flight today into the Unsense Airport and we hope to see you again in the very near future. Flight time about 2 hours and 17 minutes. Uh, camera crew, this time also cross check, please. Thank you for much for flying with us today. Press the boarding. The boarding requested. Now signs can now turn off. That goes down. That goes off. And set the jocks. Two people requested. 
Doors open. That's very close to this location. Cool. Let's pull the surface down into position. Momentarily, should see a fast pass now leaving the aeroplane. Passenger's bus is coming. Sorry, passenger's bus? You sure? I'm not gonna walk them to this door right here. Actually, no, that wouldn't be the door, wouldn't it? That's uh, I can see. Actually, no. Maybe. Uh, trying to make sense now. Yeah, no, underneath this passageway, but the, uh, the arrivals. Bus is certainly not required. Hmm. Hmm, not sure about that one, Sam said. Hmm. I'll touch at the uh, profile, I'm just using the fancy uh, modded one. Maybe the flight's not too. Let's see, the ground crew's doing their job right. Someone's doing it. Yeah, overall. Not a bad trip, that. Not a bad trip. One last screenshot for the ground. One out through by chop to crop as per usual. So, uh, GS is going through its unloading, that's fine. Pax is the boarding, which is fine. Yeah, just sent us from my VA now, since, well, not going to really have much happen uh, tonight. So, you can see what the, uh, the traffic flashing lights of aircraft in the airspace. Passing through the boarding started. Yeah, you don't really need the bus there, uh, Stansted. Unless the terminal's shut, and they just. I mean, there is a bus terminal at Stansted, I'm sure where it is. I've only ever used it twice. That, I believe it's down here, if I remember correctly. No, not there with me, because I can know. There. So, yeah, when you get some um, remote stands, you go to the main terminal bit, down set of stairs, into this building. One, two, three gates. And buses will shot you to the right stand, which are all the way over there, currently filled with aircraft. I only ever used it twice. Both are evening flights, and all the main stands were full. I said some marking. I guess, well, in that case, off to the bus they go. I send flight packs, let's have a go and fire reports. FR237738 from Zyash off to Sansa, 2 hours 12 minute flight time, Panda Parch 954, Panda Rod 1907, which is time of filming. 138 passengers, that's T1 satisfaction, 2869 rate, time 231. So the head schedule, I think that's pretty positive for the passengers, no complaints from anyone there. Right, here are the first shop now. Since I'm also done with the flight, I can also quite happily oh, I'll reach out to say you were on Slack earlier. Uh, quite happily just go through the whole reset position on GFX now, and kill everything. So I'd open up for a approach. Alright, so we need to be on. Let's load our replay. So 
going straight into Stansted. So I try and get a camera view kind of towards my seat where I'm sitting. Give some seconds to catch up. Right inside behind a wing. I'm going to go shoot across over to the uh, far side. Okay, the other way around. Oh uh, boy. Look, look, this camera is tedious. I don't know for a second. This camera is very, very tedious. Right, so. I hate to notice that. Can't do it too far around. So just snap, snap to a random position you really don't want. Right, don't go too far, draw ya. That will have to do. Right, so this is kind of the video I'm guessing for my landing tonight. This is drawing perspective. <laughs> Best perspective. Not much way of lighting, I must admit. So I'll have a slowly coming to view. Final and touchdown. Not bad. Not bad that. That landing was good. Ah, one of the first things that missed me. Because that's the uh, sort of pause or set. Yeah, and that's also they get the random landing feedback as well. Don't need it. We don't need it. Right, then from the right hand side. See in front of the uh, engine this time. That'll do. A bit more lighting this time, of course, getting landing lights uh, for the vets. Lighting down towards Essex as well. Uh, Some to my north, we've also got Cambridge, where some of the more bright lights here than there. For most part, quite the rear roads past the UK. So, this uh, also when you get closer towards uh, Norfolk, where things get really rural at that point towards the coast. Sorry, I'm just blowing my monitor for a bit of speck on dirt. That speck of dirt is in the sim. Slow lighting, I am tired, I have no sleep tonight, but worth it. Short climb Lynn. Kiss the top of the trees. Now there's plenty of room, plenty of room. And over the runway. And touchdown. And we've got a round side there. Slightly asymmetrical, not by much. Definitely a bit of a play on the aircraft there. Just a quick landing gear view. Well, the thing we've got at the moment is the, uh, the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and bright. It's such a. I know, it wasn't the uh, slight off centre, actually, I was the most gear touching down a bit heavily, so slight to left of the centre line, but again, actually not a bad landing by all means considered. Turn that off, increase that, stick it to the side. Right, last view, this time of the runway. High, shall we? Short climb Lynn. Nice and steady. Yeah, 
that's pretty good of course this is. Yeah, that was pretty good. No complaints from me. That's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's into that. So, back of sensors now, it's going to be this fucking airplane and to this terminal. From there, get myself into London one way or another. Work tomorrow, 9am, so I hope you guys are sleeping between that as well. Uh, try to do live streams well tomorrow, try to get train sim also off the list because that one is now like behind by me. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more fight sim action. Take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Good night.